Hello friends, welcome back to Node.js tutorial. So in this series, we are going to discuss about all the topics with Node.js and we are discussing about the Node.js streaming. So we discussed about the read stream, write stream, duplex stream and transform stream. This is the four type of streaming in Node.js. So we already discussed all the things and last day we discussed about the transform stream. So basically what transform stream does, transform stream actually fetch some data uh, from the source this is the input.txt so this is input.txt and in that example actually i transforming that data into the uppercase and by the pipe we are actually output that data or uh, we are passing that data into the destination as a uppercase right so we already discussed about these things please see this video you'll get better understanding of streaming and last day i promise that i will take another example and i will create a g file of input.txt there is a source file i will create a zip of that basically i want to take a backup daily basis so that we can take a daily backup of these things right so like input.txt you can backup any things any folders any any files right so simply i will say how we can take a backup or into the txt file to g file that is basically transformation of the extension also right how we can we do this so simply uh, let's create another file uh, that is transform two dot js so last day we discussed about the transform dot js or create a transform dot js i am going to create transform two dot js and i need the input dot txt and i want to make the zip of this thing so how we can do this so actually we need this input.txt file this is a file so we need a file system library so simply write constant let's create a variable fs and here we create the library this is the fs and for zip we need the zlib library so let's create another constant variable so simply write zlib i want to take a variable in the set lib and this is the library i am taking this right now i want to read the data from the input.txt so simply just uh, use the um, fs library so simply write var and simply create read stream so rs stream so simply write read stream equal to simply write fs dot create read stream so basically it will create the read stream it will fetch the data from input.txt and i want to create a output file that is the zip file so simply write var and write stream so simply write, write stream equal to fs dot create write stream and here my destination folder or the output folder will be suppose uh, anything that is input dot txt dot z g z so this is the extension right so my source and destination file is ready now i will transform this how to transform so simply to transform we need to use the piping so simply first transform the data from input so simply call the read stream dot pipe and simply just use the library so let's call the library first so simply write var and gzip right so i'm taking the gzip variable and simply call the zlib library and i need only the function that is create zip so simply write create and g zip so this function i need this only right i don't need all the things and let's pass this variable into here so let's pipe this into this uh, read stream and now i need to transform the data into the output so we need to make the write stream so simply pipe this again and pipe and so simply write the write stream right and on successful or we can use any event emitter 
so on successful we can call a finish this is the event and which are in streaming so we are calling this and let's create a function so this is the callback function so when actually successfully finish this operation i want to make some console so simply write console dot log and successfully or uh, zip created successfully zip created successfully right so all the code is ready so we have input dot txt and we don't have any zip file so let's see there is no zip file only 15 items selected now let's run this simply write node and transform to right so file name is transform to dot js and enter so zip created successfully so if i just go to the directory we can get this input dot txt dot gz so just go here and we can see input dot txt and we can get these things that is input dot txt is made into the z file right so this is all about the transform stream and there are lots of things we can do with the transform so we can make any things to the any type of things right i hope you like this video and please comment if you have any queries about this video next day i am going to discuss about another topic in node.js so please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video thanks for watching this video have a good day